Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Maxine Waters tells crowd she's ready to take out Trump herself. Immediately pays for it. It has been a long road to recovery since House Majority Whip Steve Scalise, LAD, survived an attempted assassination by a supporter of self-proclaimed socialist Bernie Sanders. Yet in that four months, the calls for violence have only increased. Scalise's congressional colleagues like Rep. Maxine Waters, CAD, are calling for harassment and refusal of service of anyone who works in the Trump administration. In Waters' extreme lack of self-awareness, it seems to completely pass her by that she is an active member of Congress herself in the Trump administration. So is she calling for violence and harassment against herself as well? It seems were she sincere in protestations of the terrible evil of the Trump administration as she claims it, then she should resign. Take the moral high ground. Remove herself from the taint of the Trump administration, except she won't. Waters is simply a power-hungry political despot like much of Washington and despots never surrender. Despots simply continue in their hypocrisy. Waters was noted as the most corrupt member of Congress on four separate occasions and passed a paltry three bills in her lengthy tenure in Congress, promised a group that benefits homeless LGBTQ youth that she will take out the president, and the far left-leaning progressive audience wildly applauded. Waters was attending the Ali Forney Center Gala in New York City. It took a mere 27 seconds for Waters to start in on her usual anti-Trump tirade. Yuan. Waters started out in the video clip, Wow, what a moving evening this is. She continues, I'm sitting here listening, watching, absorbing, thinking about Ali even though I never met him. And with this kind of inspiration, I will go and take out Trump tonight, she said as the crowd roared in approval and Waters pumped her fist. Just two days later, Waters continued her usual ranting about President Trump, this time at a Los Angeles AIDS walk. Waters took the stage in front of Los Angeles City Hall and quickly turned the event into a platform to push her personal political agenda. But now as Waters has escalated her calls for violence and her attempts to provoke her base into extreme actions against those she views as her political opposition, she must be stopped before her calls for violence end in someone getting hurt before some crazed Antifa member takes a bike lock to someone's head or attempts to assassinate a member of Congress again. In an effort to hold Waters accountable for her actions, investigative journalist Laura Loomer approached the congresswoman to ask her about her suggestions that the Trump administration and its supporters be harassed. It turns out Waters does not like to be questioned and she likes it even less when her own advice is taken and used against her. Loomer attempted to have a little chat with her about where conservatives are allowed to go. This is in the halls of the Capitol. Loomer, I just wanted to ask you, where are conservatives allowed to go? Waters, please come to my office. Loomer, are there separate? Waters, and talk with me. Loomer, do we sit at the back of the bus? Advertisement, story continues below. Waters, please come. Please come to my office and talk with me. Loomer, where can we eat? Waters, we'll be happy to talk to you. Loomer, where can a conservative eat at a restaurant in D.C.? Waters, please come to my office and talk. Loomer, I'm asking you right now. Waters, please come to my office and talk. Loomer, you're talking about civility. Waters, yes. Loomer, do you think it's civil to call for the harassment? Waters, please come to my office and sit down and talk with me. Loomer, no. I'm asking you right now. Loomer, where can we eat? Waters, we'll be happy to talk to you. Loomer, where can a conservative eat at a restaurant in D.C.? Waters, please come to my office and talk. Loomer, I'm asking you right now. Waters, please come to my office and talk. Loomer, you're talking about civility. Waters, yes. Loomer, do you think it's civil to call for the harassment? Waters, please come to my office and sit down and talk with me. Loomer, no. I'm asking you right now. Loomer states that Waters instead hit her hand and swatted her in the face twice with papers. As a result, Loomer has filed a police report for assault. Loomer tweeted. I filed a police report with Capitol Police against Maxine Waters. Yesterday when I confronted her on Capitol Hill, she assaulted me. She hit my hand, then she swatted me in the face twice with her papers. I'm pressing charges. BizPack Review correctly pointed out that Loomer was simply doing to Waters what the California Democrat urged liberals to do to Trump aides, confront them in public. Washington watchdog Judicial Watch also sent a letter on Tuesday morning to the House Office of Congressional Ethics asking for an investigation into Waters' inflammatory statements, and another source reported the Secret Service was looking into the comments. 
President of Judicial Watch, Tom Fitt incited the requirement, found in House Rule 23, Clause 1, that a member shall conduct himself at all times in a manner that shall reflect creditability on the House. He wrote the congressional investigators, in encouraging individuals to create crowds who will push back on President Trump's cabinet members at private business establishments and in seemingly trying to prevent these cabinet officials from obtaining basic necessities without fear of assault and violence, Rep. Waters seems to be in violation of House rules. Now we wait and see if Congress will actually do something. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.